Hey folks, we'll go over here. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel, whichever it may be. And we're back again with tabs. So I wanted to try simulation this time. There's not a whole lot of these battles as compared to like the legacy, which is like three pages worth and some of the other ones. So let's get through the simulations real quick. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this might have been the one that I was thinking of that you can just cheese the ever loving crap out of. Really, the only thing we're going to need is a Hawacha and a bunch of cheerleaders, because watch this. And... It is over before it even starts. Shields? Please. Look at that. That is... Mm. that's that's good and cheap cheese right there and again like i said i think we can cheese the whole thing ah uh, dead halflings nothing like them just and even the samurai here yeah good luck guys And they just can't do anything about it. What are these guys? Yeah. You know what those guys are? They're dead. They just don't know it. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Hopefully the first person around here will get sprayed with arrows. That'll let us know if that's going to work or not. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right so there's those guys there are some more monks oh there we go you can kind of see where this plan is going and more cheerleaders oh i don't think your healer is going to save you there And I don't think those shields are going to do any good against that mess. Oh, wow. Yeah, the only thing the healers did was ended up causing you more pain. Yeah, just get them with arrow fire. And, oh, monkey kings and... Yeah, you're not deflecting that. All right. So now we're off to a little bit better start this time around. For... Okay, so there was no friendly fire that time. And... Oh my god. This... All right, this strategy will work. There we go. I think this guy tried hiding behind his buddy here, but the arrow kind of had other plans. All right, bunch of them down in that first barrage. <laughs> Ballista launched him. Oh. What is that? Man? Oh my God, there's just people flying everywhere. Was that the captain? And, jeez, captains are OP. And just, man, people go sailing. No, those captains just come in and just start laying down the law with those blunderbusses they got. Jesus. And then here comes 
the ballistas, which... Oh, I love this game. Even in defeat, it's great. Alright, so we've got them. Oh, and that's the captain. Okay, that's them. Now the cheerleaders are buffing. Oh, there we go. Hey, now the Jarls are definitely going to be a problem. The Kings, not so much. But the first thing we face are the Musketeers. We're going with our tried and true meat shield strategy because these guys will open fire on them and their reload time is atrocious. It's always good to have some extra meat shields. Remember, there can never be enough dead halflings. And the Jarl tanked that. Okay. Oh, they're holding them off. Oh, come on. I think we'll just be out of range of these skeleton archers here. Eh, meat shields and friendly fire. Oh, yeah, they just got absolutely wrecked. And... Like, I'm pointing straight ahead, and this thing is just firing in whatever direction it wants to. Let's try this one. Some dead eyes, cheerleaders, and meat shields. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so let's move our meat back a little bit. Okay, yeah, that got him that time. There we go. Just goes to show you what you can do when you adjust some meat. Kind of curious as to what a uh, musketeer barrage will do. Well, I mean, skeletons just get wrecked regardless. They're not exactly the strongest enemies. It's kind of fun watching him crumble, though. So the Jarl and his boys are stuck behind the ballista now. Oh. This guy here, he, he's seen some stuff. I'm pretty sure placement will have nothing to do with what comes out of their boxes, but it's still fun to watch. Oh, Reaper. Oh, man, it's over. A Reaper and an Ice Giant of Pirate Queen, a Fanner for whatever reason. <laughs> and Halfling's just flying and exploding everywhere. Man, he got some height on him. All right, so we got the simulation done pretty quick. All right, let's uh, start with the spooky here and see what we get. I think a Jarl and a few of his headbutters here should be able to take him down. Yeah, I don't think the Jarl cares too much for that fear effect. Nah, he seems to just be powering right on through that. Oh, there's a headbutter down here. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Alright. She's throwing bones. And on fire. And is she the only one left? Nope. Got a samurai. And more friendly fire. And she should get them. Mm. 
All right, so now we got balloon archers, firework archers, and a cannon. Still got 900, but we want to keep them in a range. Uh, so let's throw down a couple of the snake archers here, because that should provide distraction with the snakes. I hope anyway. Oh, no, that was dangerous. Maybe I should have been using the ballooners than cheerleaders. No, that seemed pretty effective. Yeah, I'm overthinking it. Give them all time to get in there. Come on, there's only one left. There we go. Some flint locks in the Da Vinci tank. So the dragon gets all the vampires. Got one of the catapults. Both the catapults. The extra archers there kind of help. There we go. Uh, it seems like the... I don't know the vampires still got burned there. And skeleton guys are scaring my dudes. And it looks like the sword casters. Yeah, he's just gonna. Oh, no, he got burned. I thought he was seriously just gonna keep peppering our guys here. The Jarls should be able to tank a whole bunch of this. And are all my halflings dead? No, there's still some halflings around. Yeah, he... Okay. <laughs> Man, now see, I think this is a glitch. I mean, it does favor me, but I still think this is a glitch because every time I've seen this, the the unit is invincible, computer or player. And it happened in one of my previous videos with a wizard. All right, dragons and yarls. All right. Man, I swear I'm just going to have to start using dragons more often. So look at this. Oh, and he fell in the water. That's pretty much the end of it right there. Oh, yeah. Yarl and a drag. Couple Yarls and a dragon left. You. Man, they're just. Yarls are just so tough. One little lone guy in the middle. I have a feeling that this strategy is not going to work, but let's see what happens. I didn't even see my other sword caster go down.
Well, this seems to have worked out. And if I can get them to focus on everybody else, but these two, they should be able to take them down. That's my thinking anyway. Chieftains are kind of tough, too, for what they are. There we go. That's sort of working out like I was hoping it would. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I think this might be the way to go. They have a higher fire rate than the Swordcaster, and the Reaper, and they're cheaper. And they just yeet things. Let's just go with an absolute army of these guys. Since they have an army of harvesters, hobbits, and bird people here. Ooh, right in the face. Let's just try a whole bunch of vampires. Let's see how this works. strategy sucks. I know, terrible jokes. I had to do it. a lot better than I thought it would. Jeez, man, look at some of these guys. Alright, so... Got them. There we go, got that. Yep, he knew I was coming for him. Seriously, I was stuck on a corner there. All right, we might have enough catapults to go around to do it. Provided they can keep on target. Oh, there we go. There we go. Sort of a same strategy, but not. The fear effect kind of broke them apart. Then the sword caster's got enough range on him that he can just take him down. <laughs> you guys have fun with that. I'm going over this way.
Seriously, that worked. All right, we gotta get the ships thrown first. All right, so now we gotta move it in, but those ice archers have just got the longest range. You know, we might actually be able to do this with just all archers. Or I think this will actually work. There we go. Firework archers, monks, and monkey king. There's a ninja. Ooh, man. And some vampires back there. I got sword casters there. Let's see what this one yields. And I'm stuck. Team killing fucktard? Did I just... Oh my god. Look, friendly fire is one thing, but when you when you deliberately harpoon one of your own guys, I mean, come on. That's a bit much. Let's see. Alright, so yeah, they let loose with the volley. All right, yeah, and the archers are going to pick off on the sides, and hopefully I'll have enough of the vampires left alive to distract the other guys. And hey, beautiful. I love it when a half-assed plan kind of comes together to make a whole ass. Oh, goody. Two captains, a pirate queen, a couple of cannons, and some of the derpiest pirates I think I've ever seen. I have a feeling once these three come into play, it's just going to wipe everything. Let's see. All right, so they got her. These guys are getting the captains. Here comes the Reaper. I don't know what got him. Just a vampire still alive. And are they, is there somebody over here? Interesting. I mean, I'll take it. Hey, there we go. We've completed the spooky campaign. Well, we accomplished a lot in this go around. We got the spooky and the simulation out of the way. The only things left are the challenge, renaissance, pirate, and wild west campaigns. But that's going to be it. Remember, it's up to you to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All that will be in the video's information below. I thank you for watching again. Have a good one.